Hello. Long time no see. Um, first of all, I want to say sorry. I'm bunged up with a cold, but I wanted to do this video. Um, I've been bad now for a week. Hopefully, it'll go away soon. But if I have to keep t taking drinks, you know, I'm getting dry because my throat. I'll try my best to get through it all. Um, but yeah, I'm back doing some hauls today. Um, God, I'm so nervous because I haven't been on for absolutely ages. I'll try and get used to it again. Um, but yeah, I'm back. Um, can't wait to get started again. Um, here we go with my ums again. See, I'm so nervous. Gonna have to excuse my ums. <laughs> okay, um, I hope you're all well. Um, I hope none of you have got this stinking cold because it's absolutely horrible. And sorry if I keep coughing also. Um, my hair's a mess because I took Jaden up to nursery. I wore a hat and now my hair's just gone completely flat. So ignore that. Um, I hope you all had a lovely Christmas. And the first thing I want to mention that some of you might know and some of you might not know. I won't go into too much detail. Um, but my dad passed away um, the 30th of December. So last year was a pretty crap year, as you can guess. Um, in the end, found out he had cancer and it was pretty quick. Um, with, I think it was like three days with us knowing um, he passed. It was quick, he wasn't in any pain. Well, he wasn't in any pain towards the end. Um, so it's quite a lot of, a lot of pain before because they, he didn't know what it was. Um, and yeah, we only found out three days and then third day um, on the 30th of December he passed away so yeah last year was pretty pretty rubbish um, I'm not gonna say too much because I'm gonna get upset and um, but yeah right I'm gonna get on with my haul I've got some surprise surprise unicorn stuff because I'm absolutely absolutely addicted to unicorns at the moment um, I've got some Pandora things um, which I'll get into that later. Um, and I've got some um, like bath bombs and so forth. So I thought I'd do the bath bombs and that first to show you what I got. Right, the first thing is the um, a bubble tea, which looks like this. These are the um, macaroon bath fizzers summer fruit tea. So I got those. I then got the um, bath fizzers, which is summer fruit tea as well. <coughs> My throat. I wasn't going to come on. I thought, I oh, know, I want to do it. I'm so bored because Jaden's gone to nursery. I've got nothing to do. I'm really, really bored. I thought, I've got to, I've got to make videos again. Um, and the next thing I got is the bubble tea. These are the fruit and these are the tea bags. If I open them up like this, and you can see it's got tea on the end there. Oh. And that's what the tea bag looks like. And you put that over your tap and let the water run through. And I think that's all with bubble tea. Let me just check in my bag. Yes, that's all with that bubble tea. Um, what I tried was these and the um, tea bag. I'm going to say I like them but I didn't love them. Um, if you're on a budget then yeah they're good to have. Um, I will keep using this stuff but I will also use other stuff with it to make it better. Um, I'm not 100% um, I wasn't 100% like wowed with it. Um, the smell is okay, um, but yeah, if you're on a budget, then yeah, try these. Um, they are nice, but um, they didn't blow me away. Um, the next things are, what else have I got in here? I got the, um, as you know, I'm addicted to unicorns, mainly because it got a unicorn on it. No, um, it was because it's a marshmallow. Um, I'm gonna say flavour. Um, it's the Imperial Level Le Le Leather Foam Burst Unicorn Marshmallow. 
it just looks like that and this smells absolutely gorgeous and i absolutely love it i've got four of these now uh, so i'm buying in bulk because i absolutely love it and it's so so nice so i got that and then let's do this one so i've got everything everywhere and um, the next things i'm going to talk about is the um bomb cosmetics um I do absolutely love these. Um, first of all, I got the Mandarin Shower Butter. It looks like that. It comes in a tub, like um, Ben and Jerry's tub. Um, oh, smells heavenly. It looks like that. And what it is, it's a shower but butter, but I use it in the bath. Um, you just get some out in your hand and you... Um, <coughs> on your skin and wash with it I don't really need to tell you how to use it but yeah and then I got the black current one um, which is my um, absolutely favourite one my show this smells as you can see I've been in there quite a bit um, this smells absolutely gorgeous I can still smell it with cold so that's those and then I picked up the um, Love Nest, which looks like this. It's got a little birdie on top. It's got like glittery in there, if you can see like blue glitter. That's a Love Nest from Bond Cosmetics. I also got the one with the octopus on, oct octopus, octopus on. And I already used that, um, when did I use that? I used that last week. It was absolutely gorgeous. Um, so I couldn't show you because I've already used it. Then I got the cotton candy one. This smells absolutely divine. It's just like a play one, but it's like got that on top and it's got little bits of glitter. Don't know how well you could see there's got glitter on the top there, like silver glitter. Can't wait to use those two. And then, what else have I got over here? I have got all these. Excuse me. <coughs> I have got the um, Zoella um, bath milk powder. It's called Splash of Milk. Comes like that. It come like this in a. Um, I got it in the sale. It came like this, like in a gift. So it came like that. Um, but this one is a Splash of Milk, which looks like this. Of course, you tear, them off, tear it off and then put it in the bath. So I got that one. And then what came with it was the... If you could hear snoring in the background, it's my dogs. Um, I know it's Indy, my pug, that's doing the most snoring, but I've also got Bo down here. Um, so if you hear snoring, it's Bo. <laughs> Can you hear it? No. There. And there not me it's not my stomach right and then with it I got these which is brew me a bath and it comes in like tea bags again it's got the Z on there I put it over your um, tap um, <laughs> I'm so glad I got these in the sale um, I do not like them at all at all um, the smell is okay ish um, but I, d I don't like it. I really don't like it. Um, I've got loads left and I will use them up, but I'll put other stuff in the bath as well because oh, I don't like it. I don't like it. <laughs> That's all I could say on that. And now I'm going to go on to um, let's have a look. Lush. The first thing is, of course, the unicorn horn, blah, blah, blah which you've probably all seen anyway and it looks like this I've had a little bit off the top but looks like that, how gorgeous is that it smells divine I love that bubble bar so much um, and I also got I put that in the bags what have I got here I have got this one here a little sheepy just smells purely of lavender so that'd be nice to have in the bath before I go to bed get rid of this cold and let me sleep better um, I think this is called 
the bar bar the bar 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 <laughs> sound effects too um the next one is sakura it's back my favorite and i love it oh, my eyes look weird there Beautiful, there it is, Sakura, my favourite bomb of all time, and then we got, um, what's this one, this is called April Showers, it's like a clown, it's got like raindrops in it, pink and purple or blue, can't wait to use that one, that smells does smell nice. I think that's all of my lash. Yes. Let's put these in here because I'm going to get all mixed up. Okay, put them away. Now what else? Got all over my hands now. So I just have a quick sip of drink. Um my throat's getting sore. Oh, I got this from Home Bargains because so I'm not drinking enough water. Um, so I thought I'd get this to make me <coughs> drink water. And it's called H2O On The Go. And at the back, I don't know if you can see. It's got all the times that it keeps saying, like, time to refill at the bottom when you finished it. I thought it would help me um, in my water intake which it has done. I like that it's got a little handle and it just comes up with a straw. It's a, like a plastic straw. But yeah, I got that. That was a bar. I can't remember how much that was. So that's something like one ninety nine or two ninety nine. It's pretty cheap. Um, I've seen some on the internet and um, they were over £5. I thought I'm not paying that. So I found this. I thought, hey, give that a go. And I've been drinking um, more water. So that's good. The next things I want to talk about are the body shop. I brought this. This is a body shop mineral and ginger warming massage clay mask, which looks like this. I love the smell of this. But yeah, it's just white if you can see. And when you do, there you go. And when you do put this on your face, it feels like it's warm. it does feel like it's warm and it's such a lovely feeling. Um, but yeah, I'm really impressed with that. The next thing in the body shop is the the body shop drops of youth with concentrate with youth concentrate. Um, it looks like that with a little dropper. Again, I love the smell. It smells nice and clean and fresh. Um, I use this every day and every night so I'm pretty impressed with that and then also I got the brand new again it's the um, drops of youth the body shop youth bouncy eye mask which looks like so can you see that I get the lid off I've been using this quite a lot. Really do like it. It does help with my eyes, especially before you go to bed. I love putting that on. When you've had a hard day, it's so nice to put on. Um, and the next thing is the Amazonian Saviour multi purpose balm, which looks like this. And it's just a balm. Don't really. Don't really smell of anything. I got this um, mainly to go on my um, tattoos. It keeps them looking fresh. Um, if I just show you now. Right, there's my tattoo there. I'm going to put some on. It just keeps them looking like, like they've just been done, like they're freshly new. Um, it just soaks in. And then they look like that much better just brings the black and all the colours back out again. So for all my loads of tattoos, oh, I don't know if I showed my new tattoo. Um, can you see that? 
Oh, you're not gonna see. It's gonna be upside down. But it's a unicorn. I've had that done. You're not gonna be upside down. Let me stand up. Oh, I break my neck at the same time. There you go. I love that tattoo. But yeah, I bought it mainly for all my tattoos to make keep them looking fresh. Um, but you can also use it which I have done on the ends of your hair if you've got any split hens or if you've got any flyaways um, use it on there only use a little tiny amount if you put it on your hair because it will make it look greasy but a little tiny bit just makes it makes it look nice and non fly away um, yeah and you can also use that like if you um, like on your elbows like me or your knees they're a bit dry R highly recommend that, especially for tattoos. <laughs> um, right, the next thing is this ring. Let's put this back in the bag because I'm going to get all. Oh, I'll put them over there. Um, is ring. This ring here. Can you see it's a little further. Um, this is by. I cannot pronounce this. So excuse me, is it fire? Fire? It came in this box, which is a gorgeous box. It feels lovely, this box. Um, I was quite surprised at the box when it came. Get it out. It's a pretty sturdy, very sturdy box that it came in. I love the box. Um, but yeah, it came in there and I absolutely love their jewellery and it came with the care instructions and it came in like that open it up and it says um, who it was packed by that one was packed by Ruby and then it tells you a bit about the ring there it's got a little verse as you know as you don't know, um, I brought this um, when my dad passed away. I'll read you the, ver the, ver the verse. See, I'm getting all tongue twisted. I'm just so nervous. Anyway, a feather from an angel is one we rarely see. But this one is quite different and as special as can be. This feather is a reminder of our special person's love who is now your guardian angel watching and protecting from above. Um, so I got that. I can keep it. I love it. Beautiful ring. Going on to jewellery and stuff. Now I showed you that ring. Um, I used to... Um, I wasn't very into um, Pandora at all. Um, I started looking at their rings. Oh. Then I got loads of rings. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm addicted. Yeah, I am addicted to Pandora. Um, started off with the rings, as you can see there, I got three on there. Uh, thumb one. I got loads more, which I'm going to show you in my jewellery box. <coughs> um, and those three in there also. Um, and then I thought. I've always said, oh, I don't like the bracelets. I can't see the point in them. Um, but I caved. Um, for my first anniversary, Phil got me this um, brace Pandora one. It is Pandora. Uh, as you can see there, it's just a bangle one, which comes off and goes on. Um, I thought I'd get one of them because I'm not, I'm not too keen on the chain ones. Um, on this one so far, I have got... A dad charm, don't know how well you can see, you got a dad charm, I got this one that says mother and on the other side it says son for Jaden and then for my anniversary Phil got me that one um, which says things like, um, it's in a heart shape and it says things like love, forever, um, to have and to hold, happiness, kiss and joy together forever you and me and um, so he got me that and then I got totally addicted and I got this one um, this one is the uh, Mickey Mouse one don't know how well you're gonna see that 
Just got a little Mickey. And I brought the um, chain as well. Then on here, I have got... I have got a Tinkerbell one there. Don't know where you're going to see these. Or to do a video on showing you better, really. Um, Jaden's birthstone. Um, I've got two here. One, my beautiful wife. It's a locket. And then this one, which is my beautiful wife again. This was a one I got for Mother's Day. That's the aerial one. Um, and then I've got like, a ghost there. Another one with a heart in. And then over this side, I've got the Cinderella. Oh, this is so hard. It's making my arms ache. Cinderella one there. And then the heart for the Cinderella one. So I am totally addicted. No, there's no stop for me. And I got myself a jewellery box. You see it says Pandora on there. Lift it up. Oh. Uh, oh, you see my camera. It's like that. So there you can put your bracelets on this bit. There you've got this here, which you can when you're not using the charms, you can put them on there. The ring holder. Then if you open it up. You've got all this space up underneath too, which I keep my bags in. So that's the Pandora I wanted to show you, and I am totally addicted. Um, my birthday's coming up. Hang on, let me have a quick sip. <clears throat> my birthday's coming up, and there's quite a few um, more Tinkerbell ones that I like, so hopefully somebody will buy them for me. Um, the next thing I want to talk about is candles. Um, I got the, um, who is this made by? Lily Flame. My first ever one. Um, I've heard so much about this candle I thought I'd go and get it. Um, I haven't seen it before anywhere. I went into this one shop and it was there and I grabbed it. And she, when I went to tell she said, um, you're so lucky. I said, why? Um, she goes, these have been selling like hotcakes. That was the last one we have in stock. Um, so I was pretty chuffed with that. It's the Lily Flame, as I just said, and this is the Fairy Dust. <coughs> in, it says Invisible and True. So it looks like on the top, it's in a tin. Sorry about my voice. Mm, and the lady gives you instructions, well, you know, cautions and all that. Um, as you see I have lit it and I did have loads more of these sticky up things but like I said I've burnt it. This smells absolutely gorgeous. To me it smells like, it smells a bit like baby powder. They're like a, as you know I'm terrible at knowing what scents what. It's even worse with a cold. But yeah it's, it's just, it's a bit, it's like baby powder and it's also a bit just a bit sweet. It's absolutely gorgeous. I love that. Um, I've not tried these yet. I got these online and they came yesterday. Um, it's by a company called Pretty Candles. Um, they are on Instagram. I thought I'd give them a whirl. Um, they're soy wax hot pots. Um, I got this one which is Away With The Fairies. Um, it says vanilla bubblegum with magical pieces of sweet pear, cotton candy and vanilla. So that's away with the fairies and if I open them up. All these are packed with glitter. <laughs> so I've got to be careful because I end up with glitter everywhere. And it looks like this on top. That's so pretty. Oh that does smell nice. Oh it smells divine. Can't wait. Um, and they also do um, Lush Dupes. Dupes, dupes, dupes. Um, this one's Sakura one, it's my favourite, so I had to get it. So we've got Japanese Cherry Blossoms and Fragrant Yasmin and Orange Blossom. And this one looks like... Good packaging, you can't get into it. Oh my god, it just smells like it also. That's what that one looks like. Oh, wow. Wow. I'm going to get more of them because that smells just like the, the bath bomb. And I also got the um, calculus, which was a Halloween one, 
which is my favourite and it was Phil's favourite. Uh, this says uplifting scent with notes of lime, citrus and frankincense. Let's see if this smells like it. <clears throat> That's what that looks like. Oh yeah, smell that. I can smell that. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, I can't not wait to try them. I might tell you how I got on with these actually. Let's see. See how good they are. But um, yeah, I'm really excited to try these. Really excited. So yeah, that's all my candles. Now, as I said, I've got an obsession with um, unicorns. I've also got an obsession with unicorn mugs. Um, I've got three here. I cannot resist them because they're absolutely gorgeous. First one is this one. These are all from two are from Georgia Asta. Um, yeah, this one's from Georgia Asta. How friggin' cute is that? Look. <gasps> and the handle. Oh. And this one, this one's beautiful. Georgia Asda again. This is this one. Look. Oh. Oh. And then you go, ooh. <gasps> Look. And the tail. Oh, beautiful. And then this one's I used on my um, dressing table because I got all my pencils in there. All my eyeliners, which are mostly Urban Decay. And eyebrow pencil here, which I've not even used from benefit um but yeah there's this one this one was from the firebox how cute though come on how cute look at the tail That's super cute i've also got the little plant pot in this also uh, but that was from the firebox i really love it then taking you back that some of this is from um last year also which i haven't shown you because i haven't been on um, Facebook, I'll say Instagram there, Facebook. Um, but um, slippers. So, first of all, this slipper. How cute is that? I've only brought one instead of bringing both of them, if you know what I mean. I've only brought, but how cute. So, that one. This one. Cool, super cute. These are just like that. I think these are from BM. I could be wrong there. But yeah, how cute. A little fluffy hair there. Um, and these are my favourite. I absolutely adore these. Uh, let, me, let me put my hand in to make it look better. They're like slipper socks. How freaking cute! Look, look at the little unicorn horn. <laughs> and got a little tail at the back and the slipper socks. And I've got one on my foot. Shall I take off no um these are a little bit dirty because i've been wearing them and they're gone oh but yeah there's these ones <gasps> the boot ones they're absolutely gorgeous they're so comfy i got those out of a morrison's um because i got small feet um i see them on the kids shelf and i thought will i fit into them it says size five will i fit into a kid size five um of course philip of course you won't fit in them like for kids so off came my boot, put it on and it fit. So I got him. Oh, they're gorgeous. Um, oh, and I've got some new socks. <laughs> I've taken all my clothes off here. Um, I got some um, stitch, <gasps> stitch socks. How cute! I got some more, but I haven't put them in. I forgot to put them in. Right, let me just get my socks back on. Um, but that is absolutely everything that I think I can show you. I probably got a whole lot more because of last year, like I said, I wasn't, well, for about two years now, I don't think I've been on Facebook, uh, Facebook, YouTube. Um, I have missed every single one of you, missed all the lovely comments. Um, I've just been mainly on my, like, Facebook and... <coughs> Instagram um, I don't think I've been on since I've been married um, but that was a fantastic day absolutely love love that day um, 
everything's going well. Um, ghost hunts are going well also still. Uh, so I've been busy with that. Um, Jaden's been keeping me busy. A little terror. Um, but yeah, I haven't, I haven't really got much to um, say. I've just been looking after Jaden, looking after the dogs, ghost hunting. Um, like I said, last year was just want to forget about last year. It was horrible. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, I'm back. And like I said, I, mi I missed it so much. Um, I absolutely love doing my videos. And love getting all the comments from you. I'm thinking, if, if there's anything that you want to see or want me to do videos on, then please, please let me know down below. Um, I'm also on Instagram. There's a lot of photos on there um, of like things that I have brought um, and, a ho <coughs> and of hauls and so forth. So if you want to look at that, um, then I am, am I on Instagram? I am the Fairy Kelly on Instagram. Um, if you want to come and say hello to me on Facebook, um, just go to um, type in Kelly Kirby. That's K-E-R-B-Y. Um, but yeah, I'm mainly on Instagram. Um, I put all my photos up of everything that I've brought. Um, there's some photos of Jaden also. Um, but yeah, I hope you're all doing well. I will end this now because as you know me, I usually at the end of a video, I wrap it on. And I think I'm looking more at the thing than I am the camera. Um, so sorry about that. It's going to get me back into it again um, but I enjoyed doing this and I uh, hopefully you enjoyed watching me um, and I will see you soon bye